So this video, we're going to be talking about the number one thing that no one ever thinks about when trying to reduce sugar, and that is sleep. And you're like, what? That has nothing to do with food. <laughs> um, it's crazy to think about um, how sleep is so important. But it is. It truly is. When you're tired, um, I don't know, for me... Definitely, I see this, um, but I don't know for you. When you're tired, you crave more carbs. You crave more carbs. Do you crave sugar a little bit more? Um, do you not feel like cooking supper? So then you get something that's frozen, maybe not so good for supper, right? Um, because you're, you're tired. Um, so getting a good night's sleep can actually help reduce all that and also will bring down your cortisone levels which also reduce your your sugar cravings because when your cortisone level spikes um it it's your stress hormone right so what you get stressed you get anxious so, sometimes you get depressed depending on how the, your cortisone uh, hormone works in your body right and when you get anxious or depressed or stressed out what you want to do you want to eat your carbs you want to eat the sugar right or like right so when you actually get more sleep you don't have that it's all reduced sleep is so important so with my clients um we're busy moms eight hours of sleep just doesn't come natural to us half the time we do not get it we get woken up in the middle of the night with our kids um we don't have very good sleeps if you if your kid's six that definitely your kids get up in the morning but you had to do a lot of stuff at night say like work or something especially now during this time you're a mom you're a wife you're a teacher you work at home like you have so many hats right so then sometimes when the kids go to bed you're like gotta fill some corner of my now needs like like people need me right um so you're up a little bit later you're up earlier with the kids it's hard to get that sleep in right what we tell our clients is shoot for eight o'clock try your hardest every single night i mean not eight o'clock shoot for eight hours try your hardest every single night to try and get to eight hours what my clients saw by trying to get eight hours is majority of them did not get eight hours right they were lucky if they did right but they got more sleep than they normally did because they were mindful about their sleep and trying to get more sleep in. So it did help in the long run because they started sleeping more and better because they were trying to get there, right? And then we we, we gave them some techniques to help them get to bed easier, um, to kind of relieve the stress of the day at the end of the day. And it really, really helped them, right? To get them closer and closer to those eight hours. Some, um, they, they don't always get eight hours, but they're shooting for it. So when they shoot for it, they maybe get eight hours of sleep once a week. Okay. But before they were getting anywhere between four and five hours of sleep or maybe six hours of sleep, but now they're shooting for eight. So they're always getting around six and a half to eight hours of sleep because they're shooting for eight because they're being mindful of it right so that's really um something that you can just try is shoot for eight try your hardest to get eight hours of sleep it's not going to work out every single night you're a mom you have kids <laughs> and uh majority of the time it's you getting out of bed i'm lucky because um my husband won't get out of bed because i can't with my back injury that i had um four years ago in a car accident um, I fractured my back, dislocated my hip. I can't still like bend down and lift something. So I can't lift my children out of the bed, right? So he goes goes and get them. So um, I, I had to get in a car accident for that, but <laughs> I'm lucky still in the way, right? But I'm still up with them because what he'll do is he'll get them out of the bed and he'll bring them to me. So I'm still, I'm still up. We're both up, right? Because they don't want die. They want mommy, <laughs> right? But... Um, I, I do have help at night because of that. So I'm lucky that way. But so let's try and shoot for eight hours of sleep. Let's just try for it and try it for, I would give it yourself a month. 
I would give yourself a month and try and record it. See, with me, I have a Fitbit, so you can actually like record um, how many hours of sleep that you get. Um, but for you, it could be just like trying to get to bed at a certain time, a little bit earlier than what you used to, right? Or sleeping in a little bit later than what you used to, right? Depending on when you get your little like alone time from the kids, if it's in the morning or at night, you try and you maneuver it that way that will suit you, right? For me at night, my night is where I have no kids and my kids are my alarm clock for me. <laughs> so I always try and get to bed at a certain time. So whenever that alarm clock comes in, um, it, I'm trying to shoot for eight, eight hours of sleep. It doesn't always happen. Like, you know, when your neighbor starts sawing wood at six o'clock in the morning or something like that, you know? But it, you know, it, it helps to try and shoot for it. So let's do that. So if you have any questions about sleep or you need uh, like some calming um, mechanisms or exercises or anything like that, put it in the comments below. Uh, we can get chatting or you can send me a, a message over Facebook, we get chatting about sleep and how we can help you get more sleep. More sleep. Um, but that's this video and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye guys.